So, I just started playing with Google Optimize, and it's amazing! Um, I'm going to get a lot of flack from Yvonne, who's the head of our technical team, because he loves this damn thing, and he's been playing with it forever, and he's told me about it, and I've ignored him. Um, Google sent out this email today, though, that just made me think, like, I should go in there and poke around Optimize and see what all the fuss is about. Uh, this is what our team has been using for split testing, um, and it's unreal. So, I'm going to give you the crash course. This is like the quick, like the quick and dirty. Hey, real quick, this is how we use it. Um, when you log into Optimize, the very first thing it's going to make you do is install the browser extension. So just FYI, if, if you're not using the browser extension, I don't think Optimize is going to work because the adjustments that we're going to make are triggered through that extension. Um, let's go and create our very first um, test. So uh, Optimize allows you to do a couple of different things. Or, uh, we've got A-B testing. So, you know, hey, is this message working or is this message working? Is this image working or is this image working? Uh, multivariant tests, and what's really cool about multivariant tests is, uh, and actually the same is true for A-B tests, but you can have um, a multiple multi-page experiences um, embedded inside of these tests. Uh, redirect tests, so we can actually like say, instead of this page, send them to this page. Personalize content for users, which is really cool. Um, and then banner template, which I actually haven't uh, honestly played with much because it feels like Feel like an opt-in monster ripoff. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know that this is going to be like the highest and best use for Google Optimize, but it's available. We're going to use A-B test because that's the easiest. And uh, why don't we say uh, home page CTA is going to be the name of my test. And uh, here's my URL. Create. So now Google opens it up and says, all right, dude, we'll add a variant. So you'll notice just a couple of things here at the top is it's giving you a sequence as to the steps that we need to take. Uh, we're going to create our variants, add our targeting rules, which ends up being kind of linear, to be honest with you. Link analytics, which is a prerequisite. Um, set up your objectives, which draw from analytics. So you're using goals inside of analytics. And then you start your test. So the very first thing we're going to do is add a variant, which is shockingly easy. Shockingly easy. So let's do um, pre-evaluation. Now, just so you know, here's what I'm going to test. Uh, I guess I should have gotten to that out of the first place. Um, we've tested a lot of our, our uh, CTA language. i got to keep moving my face, sorry. So we say request an action plan. And I say action plan because I don't want people to feel like they're just going to get like a report card. I want them to feel like they're going to get something tangible. However, uh, action plan might not necessarily resonate with everybody. Plus, the entire rest of the industry says evaluation. So I want to test and see whether or not um, free evaluation performs better than action plan. So I would change you know, the... the um, just the name of these buttons. Super simple test. You'd be shocked at how elements like that can, can have massive impacts on your conversion rate. And incidentally, you could test anything you want. So I could like split test this image versus another image, change, you know, we Yvonne actually did this for me using Google Optimize, but we tested, it had to have been a dozen different titles and descriptions, and these are the ones that performed the best. So um, I'm going to jump in here and say, uh, let's test free evaluation versus action plan. So now I have original. Which is, which is this, which is request an action plan, and then I've got my free evaluation. And now I need to go in and edit. So, editing is, is amazingly simple. I'm so impressed. You'll notice that you have this little um, uh, pop-up window in the uh, right-hand side here. And then as I hover over elements, Google gives me access to all of these elements to change. Uh, which is really nifty. So I'm going to select request an action plan, go over here, click edit element, and then you'll notice that I can remove it, edit the HTML if I want to, insert additional HTML, run JavaScript if I were smart enough to figure it out. Uh, I'm just going to say edit text because I'm uh, a Neanderthal when it comes to some of this stuff. So we're going to say uh, free uh, evaluation, exclamation point. Um, and let's copy that so that I have it. And then I'm going to do the same thing up here. Edit element, edit text. Reevaluation done. So I've changed. Now I would go through and change all the buttons on the page. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to bore you. Um, but I feel good about it, and I'm going to click save. Uh, it's going to say editor mismatch. Um, oh, it's because of the uh, HTTPS. So we're going to update our URLs. I'm going to follow. Uh, now we're done, and then we move back into Optimize. And so now Optimize is going to ask me to define the targeting, which is easy for me. It's like whenever anybody hits this page. But just so you know, you can actually have multi-page experiences over here. So if I select add a page, um, this learn more article is something that I'll link to in the description because this is really important. But you can have a multi-page experience to where, like for instance, if somebody lands on a different narrative in the home page, maybe your pricing page changes. Um, you know, that type of thing. Really cool, really cool uh, the way that Google has this structured. Really impressed. And then we have the ability to uh, 
target audiences. This is maybe the most impressive thing in the whole darn setup. Um, so we can target people according to facets of your Google account. What campaign did they come through, ad group, keywords, etc. UTM parameters, uh, which could be awesome. You could use this for you know email marketing, uh, Facebook if you're using it, um, device type, um, audience behavior, new versus returning users, where they are, which could be amazing. You could actually have one of these running in perpetuity and then just customize content for um, people from specific regions, which is really super cool. And then uh, specific tech. Uh, it gets a little bit more advanced here if you want to you know, play around with first party cookies or, or JavaScript. Um, but I mean, there's so much here already to segment by from an audience perspective. Um, now, I'm not going to do that because I already have my rule and I just want to do this with everybody. You'll also notice, I guess I forgot to mention, you can change the weight. So I can say, hey, I still want 75% of my traffic to go to the original just because I know that works really well and I want to be careful about how aggressive I'm being or whatever. And I can actually add additional variants. Um, I don't know what the limitation is here uh, and I'm not going to find out. But I, honestly, I'd, I'd caution you against adding too many anyway. So be really careful there. Protect yourself from yourself. Um, just a second. Cool. Um, you're going to have to, the description, by the way, is just for you. So when you add a description, this is like for you and your internal team to make sure that you know what it is that you're testing. Uh, install analytics. I still use the old version of analytics because I'm an American. And, uh, and I also don't like um, new Google Analytics, just to be frank. Uh, choose uh, your uh, primary objective, which can be from the list of conversion events you have in analytics. Or you can create a custom objective if you want to. I'll just, from the list of conversion events, say um, main page form. Easy breezy. Uh, and then I have to install this. So the installation is the easiest thing in the whole wide world. You're just going to drop this into your head tag. And then once done, select check installation. I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want to bore you. Uh, turn email notifications on. Do not not do this. Um, it might very strong opinion because some of the information that we've been getting is really cool. 100% uh, of the traffic is going to be allocated to this experience. Don't confuse this here. This is after the traffic that is going to be allocated is chosen, what direction do they go into? But you can say, hey, I just want half of my traffic to just stay as is. Uh, and then the activation events to keep this page load. Like if you understand the rest of this stuff, awesome for you. Um, but, but page load right now I think is going to be the easiest thing for the layman. And then when you're ready, you're going to click start. No, I'm not going to start because I don't actually want to run this event. But look at how cool that is. Like all of a sudden I get to say, hey, which one of these buttons performs better? Um, and I mean, it makes it so simple. And there's all these split testing tools out there that are, they're fine. But I don't think, I mean, I, I don't think this video is 10 minutes. And bam, we have our very first split test. My note for you, split test the simple things first and only split test one variant at a time. Now, if you have a multi-page experience, that's okay. That just means one variant on, on each page. But when you split test multiple variants inside of a single page, even if it works, you don't know what worked. So just keep things really basic, really simple. I love testing languages. I think semantic architecture is really important um, depending on how people convert and engage. So you know, um, test terms, languages. You can test colors, imagery, um, offers, pricing. Um, just a really cool uh, application here to play with. So I hope you like this. I hope this is helpful. I shoot a video every day. So if you want to watch it, uh, please subscribe. Uh, thumbs up if this was helpful. Comments if you have some ideas that I didn't go over or if you know more about Optimize than I do. Um, I'd like to do like the, the ultimate guide at some point, but uh, that's just when I get around to it. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Grateful uh, for your attention, truly and sincerely. And I will catch you on the flippity flip.